Hello students, I am Dr. Vinita Ratho, Associate Professor Zoology at SMB Government PG College, Nathwara. Today I am going to teach you Morphological Classification of Chromosome. Chromosomes are thread-like structures which are filamentous bodies present in the nucleoplasm which appears as thread-like structure and they are called as chromosomes. The word chromosome is originated from two Greek words, chroma which means color and the soma which means body. So, chromosomes are basically the colored body present in the nucleus. A chromosome is a thread-like self-replicating genetic structure containing organized DNA molecule package found in the nucleus of the cell. Chromosomes are invisible during the interface stage of the cell and they are not visible due to their high content of the water in them. But during cell division, the chromosome goes under the process of condensation due to which the chromosomes become thick and short and they are visible at this stage. Chromosomes are best seen during the metaphase stage of the mitosis when the cells are stained with suitable basic dye and viewed under light microscope. In all types of the higher organisms, the well-organized nucleus contains definite number of chromosomes of definite size and definite shape. The chromosomes were first discovered as thread-like structure by Strasberger in the year 1875. At that time, they were not named as chromosomes. Baldier coined the term chromosome first time in the year 1888. Prokaryotic and eukaryotic chromosomes. As we all know that there are two types of the cells, prokaryotic cells and the eukaryotic cells. The prokaryotic cells are the cells in which definite membrane bound nucleus is not present and the eukaryotic cells are the cells in which definite well membrane bound nucleus is present. The chromosomes which are present in the prokaryotic cells are termed as prokaryotic chromosomes. In them, the genomes are very simple. The genome of the prokaryotic chromosomes contain in a single chromosome which are usually circular DNA molecules. Here the DNA is associated with the proteins but no histone proteins are present. DNA packaging of prokaryotic chromosomes is different from the eukaryotic chromosomes and it is not very well understood. RNA viruses which are the prokaryotic cells they have smallest genome. Eukaryotic chromosomes. Eukaryotic chromosomes are the chromosomes which are present in the eukaryotic cells. As we know, eukaryotic cells are the cells which are having a definite nucleus. This you can see in this diagram also that a cell is having a definite nucleus. In this nucleus, nucleoplasm is present and in this nucleoplasm, the chromosomes are visible during the cell division and they are present as chromatin network during the interface stage. These chromosomes are basically the DNA molecules which are present as a double helical structure and these DNA molecules are made up of nucleotides and the backbone of the DNA which is made up of sugar and phosphate. The genomes of eukaryotic chromosomes are composed of multiple chromosomes each containing a linear molecule of DNA. Here, the unique feature of the eukaryotic cell 
is the presence of histone proteins. The packaging of DNA is just because of this DNA, uh, this histone which is present in the eukaryotic cells. Types of chromosomes. Chromosomes can be classified into two types, autosomes and allosomes, depending upon the type of the cells in which they are present. There are two types of the cells, the somatic cells and the genetic cells. The somatic cells are the cells which are responsible to form main body of the organisms and these somatic cells are having the chromosomes which control all the characters of the organism other than the sex characters or we can say these chromosomes which are present in the somatic cells carry all genes for the somatic characters and they are termed as autosomes. The second type of the chromosomes are the allosomes. They, all allosomes can also be called as the sex chromosomes or the gonosomes. These chromosomes are associated with the determination of sex. Humans and most of the other mammals have two sex chromosomes. X chromosome and Y chromosomes. Because these X and Y chromosomes are different from each other, therefore they are also called as heterosomes. Females have two X chromosomes in the diploid cells while the males have an X chromosome and a Y chromosome. In birds, females are heterogametic and the males are homogametic which is just opposite to the human beings. Here the birds form two different types of the gametes each containing either Z or the W chromosome while the males are homogametic which forms the gametes each having Z chromosome. Diploid and haploid chromosome number. Depending upon the number of chromosomes present in a cell, the cells can be classified as diploid cells or the haploid cells and the cells which are the somatic cells, they are having somatic chromosomes and these somatic chromosome number of the cells which is found in these somatic cells is represented by 2N number and they are also called as the diploid number of chromosomes. The body cells of the organisms are usually diploid cells. Haploid cells is the n number of the chromosomes. The gametic chromosomes are having half of the number of the chromosomes which are present in the somatic cells and they are represented by n number of chromosomes and the n number of chromosomes are also called as haploid number of chromosomes. In animals, the gametes, that is the sperms and the eggs are haploid. The number of chromosomes varies from species to species. Normally, all individuals of a species have same number of chromosomes, homologous chromosomes. The diploid organisms have two copies of each chromosome except the sex chromosomes. Both these copies are ordinarily identical in their morphology, gene content and gene order and therefore they are also termed as the homologous chromosomes. Each pair of a homologous chromosome is made up of two homologues. Homologous chromosomes are inherited from separate parents. One homologue comes from the mother and it is called as the maternal chromosome while the other chromosome comes from the father and it is called as the paternal chromosome. Classification of chromosomes. This classification of chromosome is based on the position of centromere in the chromosome. If the centromere is present 
at one end then the chromosomes are called as acrocentric if the centromere is present at close end of the one side of the chromosome then it is called as the submetacentric if the centromere is present in the center of the cell then such a chromosome is called as metacentric chromosome each chromosome is having two arms the shorter of the two arms is labeled as the p arm and the longer is called as the q arm the p arm is the name given due to a french word petit which means small and the q arm is named simply because it follows the p alphabet acrocentric chromosome the centromere is located close to one end of the chromosome the centromere is more terminally placed and it forms very unequal arm length the acro in the acrocentric word refers to the greek word of peak it means we can say that the centromere is situated on the top of the chromosome or at the peak of the chromosome here the p or the short arm is so short that sometimes it is very difficult to observe them but still they are present acrocentric chromosomes look as rod shape during the metaphase sorry during the anaphase stage of the cell division sub metacentric chromosome centromere in such chromosome is located on one side of the chromosome their position is not in the center of the chromosome or we can say it is sub median and due to sub median location of the centromere the one arm is longer and the other arm is the shorter the sub metacentric chromosome may be l shape or j shape during anaphase stage of the mitosis metacentric chromosomes these are the chromosomes in which the centromere is located in the center of the chromosome that is we can say the centromere is median in position the centromere is localized approximately midway between each end and thereby two arms are the pali pali ke liye koi to tab yahi metacentric chromosome metacentric chromosomes are the chromosomes in which the centromere is located in the center of the chromosome the centromere is localized approximately midway between each end and thereby the two arms are roughly equal in their lengths metacentric chromosomes take v shape during the anaphase stage of the mitosis Telocentric chromosomes are the chromosomes in which the centromere is located at one end of the chromosome or you can say the at the terminal part of the chromosome and due to terminal position of the centromere the chromosome looks as rod shape during the anaphase stage of the mitosis classification of chromosomes according to the number of centromere 
according to the number of centromere eukaryotic chromosomes can be classified as acentric monocentric dicentric and polycentric acentric chromosomes are the chromosomes which are devoid of centromere monocentric chromosomes are the chromosomes in which one centromere is present the dicentric chromosomes are the chromosomes in which two centromeres are present and finally the polycentric chromosomes are the chromosomes in which more than two centromeres are present